Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi, how are you doing? Cheers, thanks. I have been known to have a go at fat people. But the truth is, I'm a bit overweight myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone shouted, no shit. Could be that. <laughs> 40 years build up. I actually had to have a medical for this tour. And I've had medicals before for TV work. And I just check your pulse and go, you're fine. But I went along to the doctor and he said, uh, oh, it's a bit more thorough than usual. You know, it's a big tour. We need a urine sample. I've never had to do that before. So, uh, you know, I went to the toilet, filled up this little bottle he gave me, good as gold, gave it back to him. He went, oh, can you strip down to your box of shorts? I thought, this is thorough. So I stripped down to my box of shorts. Oh, for f The one day I wear white box of shorts, Big wet patch from the Wii. <laughs> well, why didn't he warn me? Why didn't he say, be careful, I'll be checking for stains in a minute? Do you know how... So embarrassing, there's nothing I could do. Uh, I told my friend, and my friend went, you should have gone commando. Well, that would have been less embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> so now I strip down to my box of shorts, and I go, oh, God, I've wet myself, what can I do? I know. Go Commando. Do Commandos not wear pants? <laughs> Why is it called Go Commando? They must wear pants. Are there any Commandos in, do you whip? <laughs> Why are you not wearing pants? What do you mean, because we're Commandos? They're going to see that, at least camouflage it. Put it up. Well, now it's getting bigger. Why is it getting big? Look, there's barbed wire up. You're going to lose it. Pop it away. Go, Commando. But I am a bit overweight. I never worried about that before I was famous. And I'm not more vain now. It's that you read about yourself. And the papers, they need an adjective. They can't just say Ricky Gervais comedian. They say things like Ricky Gervais, tubby comedian. Why bring that into it? Ricky Gervais, rotund comedian. Rotund? That sounds like a giant fucking wombat. I'm not rotund. One called me a chubby funster. That's a gay porn name. I was jogging once, listening to some sounds on my MP3 player. Oh, yeah, looking good. Paparazzi got me. Full page in the paper the next day, with a headline, I podge. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Thanks very much. Good night. And now... Mr. Ricky Gervais. Oh, thank you. Hi. Wow, thank you very much. What a lovely welcome. As you know, I do a lot of charity work. But in all honesty, I think that some causes are more worthy than others. Obviously, cancer is a very worthy cause. AIDS is a very worthy cause. But I got asked to do a benefit gig recently for sufferers of obesity. What? Sufferers of obesity. I said, you mean fat people? <laughs> she went, no, because obesity... Well, she actually went, no, because ob she was eating. So she went, obesity is disease. Oh, no, it's not, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. You just like eating, don't you? How is that a disease? Oh, I'm so fucking ill. Mm, oh, I am well ill. I went, what's the disease? She went... Everything tastes good. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> not salads. What's well, not a disease? Leprosy is a disease. Can you imagine Jesus in the temple? People coming up to him in bandages going, Jesus, my flesh is falling off. And he goes, I can't stop now. There's a fat woman over there on her third pie. <sighs> I saw a documentary about a woman who was 350 pounds, because she ate 10 pie and chips a day. That'll do it. <laughs> 10 pie and chips a day, 10 separate meals, 10 separate trips to the chip shop, in a cab, didn't even walk that, <laughs> wasted calories. So in this documentary, they wired her jaw together to try and stop her eating. So she liquidized 10 pie and chips a day. <laughs> pie smoothies. Now she's not even chewing. That used up 10 calories. So uh, they took her to hospital. 
to give her that operation where they staple your stomach together. And she was sitting there in hospital, looking all depressed. Well, you can't eat for an hour before an operation, can you? <laughs> and she went, it's, it's a dangerous operation, but it's the only option left. Huh? huh. One, jogging. Oh, you don't even walk. Um, <laughs> salads? You don't like salads? OK. Nine pie and chips a day? That's a start, isn't it? They make excuses, don't they, fat people? They say things like, it's glandular. It's not glandular, it's greed. It's big bones. Yeah, big bones covered in meat and gravy. Unbelievable. Always complain. Oh, aeroplane seats. They're not big enough for someone like me. No, they're not. Because if they were, we'd get 12 fucking people on the plane. <laughs> it's not fair. It is fair. You ate too much. And if we're talking about fairness and aeroplanes, why is it that I get the same luggage allowance as a guy who's 400 pounds? <laughs> we're both allowed 32 kilograms on the plane. I want to go, no, he used up his 32 kilograms on his tits. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Enjoy your meals. Not you. You've had enough. Mr. Ricky Gervais. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it really is me. Calm down. I do a lot of work for charity. I don't do enough. They say you can always do more. But I look at it like this. It's a pain, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing in it for me. Do a lot of work for, um, cancer. That's my chosen charity. Do a lot of work for people with cancer. And they're welcome to it. But I will say this. If I ever get cancer myself, I'm going to walk into the nearest hospital and go, right, I paid for that machine. Get that little bald fucker off it. <laughs> Talking of um, little bald fuckers, I did the teenage cancer gig last year. What? No, I'd done it two years before, but they called again last year. We're still ill. <laughs> You lasted. It's a great gig, though. The kids with cancer get in for free, and you meet them afterwards, and, you know, they come backstage, and you sign stuff for them. And I was doing the gig this last year, and I looked down, and I recognised one of them. And I thought, oh, yeah, he came backstage two years ago. He was telling me about his illness, and he said he was 18. And that was then, that was two years ago, so now he must be 20. So how the fuck is he still a teenager? <laughs> And I was doing the gig, and he was laughing along. I was thinking, yeah, you laugh it up, mate. I was fuming. And eventually it got too much for me. And I went, all right, mate, I recognise you. I went, hello, yeah. You came backstage two years ago. I went, yeah. I said, you said you were 18 then. I went, yeah, so you're 20 now. I went, yeah. I said, get out. And I called security, and they came. He struggled, but he was weak. I mean, I think they'd worked out, because they, although they had trouble getting hold of him to start with. You know, but eventually, they, his drip nearly had someone's eye out. The crowd started booing. I went, hear that? They don't want to see someone like you take the piss out of me. No money. I do a lot of work for AIDS as well. I've worked for AIDS charities for many years, from the mid to late 80s. And back then, people, they didn't know what this new disease, what's this new disease called AIDS? I mean, it's gone from strength to strength now, hasn't it? It's gone global, it's doing very well. It's got its own day and everything. World AIDS Day, 1st of December. I don't think it'll ever take off like Christmas. We don't do anything in our house. No decorations. You can't even get a card. They don't do, sorry, you've got AIDS cards. They don't exist. Uh, fascinating fact about AIDS. People always learn stuff from my lectures. This is absolutely true. The HIV virus was actually a combination of two separate viruses in rhesus monkeys. And it formed a, a rudimentary form of AIDS. And uh, this was passed to chimpanzees. Sometimes chimps will get a bloodlust and they'll eat a, a rhesus monkey. And it sort of mutated and evolved in chimpanzees, and because we're 98.6% genetically identical to chimpanzees, it was able to be passed to humans. And the first human contracted AIDS when he was chopping up chimp meat and cut his finger. Although that's the excuse I'd have given. <laughs> You'd have to come up with someone, wouldn't you? The doctor goes, well, you're the first human to contract AIDS. You go, is that bad? Yeah, it can be. Well, how would I have got that? Two ways. One, 
you were fucking a chimp up the arse. No way. What's the other way I could have got it? Uh, well, I suppose you could have been chopping up a chimp and cut your finger. That one. I bet he went straight out to the jungle and found that chimp. And went, Oi, you fucking gave me AIDS. I gave you what? You gave me AIDS. I gave you a blowjob. Shush. No, I got AIDS from you. Well, how did I get AIDS? From eating monkeys. <laughs> I, I don't eat monkeys. You were either eating them or fucking them. <laughs> I was eating them. It tastes like chicken. That's how it happened. Thanks very much. Good night. Let me open my pants.